Actually, wait, there's one more thing. All right, YouTube. You know, I read the comments. I see what you're saying down there. And today's the day. Let me just... All right, I came to a super secret undisclosed location. And on my way here, I was getting some serious wobbles. So I'm gonna take the liberty of tightening these trucks before I do this speed test. All right, inaugural top speed test. No, uh, no speedometer in hand. I'm just gonna feel it out. I've got a green light up here. Oh man. Oh man. All right, here we go. Fully pinned. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is fast. All right, so I got this open road. The West Side Highway bike path is right over there, but I don't think there's gonna be as much wind on this street. And this is the part where I take out my phone, open up Waze, and see how fast I'm going. Much to my surprise, I can, or Waze is not showing me that I'm going more than 28 miles an hour. I will say though, it is pretty windy outside to the point where I'm almost convinced that I can push those extra two miles an hour to hit 30 plus. I mean, you, you can probably might be able to hear the wind or, or visibly see it. It's pretty bad today. All right, so one more time. I'm gonna go as fast as I possibly can. No speedometer, just me and my body. I don't know, this, this feels faster than the 28 on my V2. Probably one or two miles an hour different, but okay, I gotta slow down. And it kind of sucks because it's basically winter here in Manhattan and I've been waiting for a warm-ish, not wet day to do this. But of course today, you know, it's, it's pretty nice outside today in terms of weather, but it's very, very windy. All right, I'm gonna try one last time over here. It says I'm going no miles an hour. Let's go. It's so windy! I think maybe Waze is probably definitely not 100% accurate. I would need one of those speedometer thingies or have a friend that's more or less the same weight as me ride my V2 and we'll see if this one goes faster at the top speed. But I wanna emphasize, I have hundreds of miles on my V2 with 100 millimeter BOAs and the top speed of these 100 millimeter BOAs, the red ones on my Stealth, when I hit top speed on that, it feels just a little bit faster. And that's probably, you know, 29, 30. I was hoping off the rip these would do 30 plus miles an hour, but this wind. Acceleration and battery. Well, it's really windy outside. I was full when I left the studio and now I'm on two. So battery is definitely taking a hit. Acceleration also is taking a hit. I don't think it feels as dramatic as it was on the V2 because the Stealth has, you know, hyper mode five. So you've got a little bit faster acceleration um, with this board. Woo! And another thing these wheels do is make the ride uh, feel a little bit more stable. Not that boosted boards feel unstable to begin with at all, but you know, when you put like bigger tires, you know, you just feel more dominant. Like I can hit bumps and little cracks easier than I normally would. It just gives you a little bit more confidence in the ride. I'll be honest here. I thought that this boosted speed hack, the 100 millimeter BOAs on the Stealth would definitely put me over 30 miles an hour. So I am not satisfied. I think I'm gonna do another test on a day that's not windy. It's just tough because it's only really getting colder and also ways may not be one trillion percent accurate. I think the best way to do this is like I said before, have a friend ride my V2 with the 100 millimeter BOAs, hopefully they're the same weight and then we pin it and see who's faster. 
But until then, thank you for watching. My name is Sam Sheffer and I make videos about tech. If you like this video, do it, smash it, subscribe if you're not yet already, all the other YouTube things you're supposed to say at the end of a video. I'll catch you in the next one.